Texans win because Texans lose because as we head into the weekend, looking forward to week one of the Texans season, what are the things that are have or that are going to happen or that could happen that would mean that the Texans win? And you know, on the negative side, what are the things that could happen that would make so, that would make it so that the Texans lost? Well, I, I'll start on the negative side because we got to leave them uh, with an upswing here, right? So, uh, it, it, to me, it's it's just so obvious, you know, Jonathan Taylor demolishing the the middle of that defense. Yeah, we've seen it before. Eight hundred yards plus in six games against the Texans. His name is Jonathan Taylor, uh, but you can call him Ty. Uh, because that's kind of what he's become uh, with the Texans. Like, like they lose because, and even, and that's not even counting what Anthony Richardson might do. And we don't know. Yeah. But as far as like the path to victory, or like people like to say for the Colts, it's Jonathan Taylor just yeah. shredding this team. If they can't stop the run, yeah. that will be a big issue in the course of yeah. We, we if we're talking Monday about a loss, that's mm-hmm. definitely going to be a big part of it. You want to get a win because in there? Yeah, I think the, I think the win it, it may be as obvious, but uh, I, I think it's it's certainly to be determined. It's like how Bobby Slowick has utilizes all these weapons. We you know one of the one of the ongoing themes here is are they going to feed them all? You know, everybody wants there's only one ball and uh, everybody's going to want to eat and all that stuff. Bobby Slowick, I have all the confidence in the world, has a plan to do that. Can they do it? And I'm not talking about just the three wide receivers. I'm talking about, you know, we've talked a lot about Dalton Schultz underneath. Joe Mixon out of the backfield. How about that tight end that's not a tight end? I mean, that fullback that's not a fullback. Yeah. Um, and using him out of the backfield. The mismatches, I mentioned this earlier. Just just imagine, and I, I want to see this, and I think we are going to see this. Three wide receivers, no backs, the tight end, and the back coming out of the backfield, I should say. Yeah. That's That's... That's five weapons, man. Yeah. And how he's going to use it. They're going to win because of Slowick's ability, and and obviously C.J. Stroud, uh, but but Slowick's ability to just make them guess every snap. Yeah. Uh, for me, Texans lose because the interior of the offensive line does not have their best day. Mm-hmm. We know that the interior of this defensive line uh, for, the, for the Colts, when you talk about uh, Grover Stewart, you mm-hmm. talk about DeForest Buckner, those guys can really get after you and – Obviously, the run game is something that this Texans team needs to show itself capable of doing. But also, yeah. we talked about the idea of there's possibility of getting pressure up the middle. And I know that, you know, typically the Texans offensive line pass pass blocking is fine. CJ Stroud, we know that he's managing pockets really well. Mm-hmm. But no quarterback wants that pressure up the middle. And we saw what pressure um, can do when that offensive line isn't on it. With Lamar Jackson, now he was out there creating, but even with all of that creation, it looked like he had a heavy weight on his shoulder. Yeah. That'd be a problem if you're looking at it with CJ dealing with too heavy of a load and he can't not being able to get the ball sure. out to all those weapons that you pointed out to. Um, Texas win because they're able to stop the run, like as you mentioned. Right? There we if, go. If you have the likes of Henry Toa Toa, you have Jake Hansen stepping up and really filling those gaps in the ways that they're supposed to, mm-hmm. now you're cooking with grease, right? Now you're in a good place because I don't know, I don't know that that um, – that that offense is really going to kill you uh, passing the football. Although, unless if the eyes if the eyes are fooling you and you're seeing guys really biting on the run, and then those passes are just going right over yeah. the top of that linebacker, then that can get real dicey. But I think if those guys are capable of really stepping in and playing like uh, D'Amico Ryan's believes them capable of, I think this should be a good one. And I, and I, you know, it, it's always a cliche and sort of like a crutch. Oh, you know, whoever wins the turnover battle, whoever wins, you know. So I'm not saying that. But I'm saying if Kamari Lasseter shows, mm. you know, because they've got two good wide receivers. They do. You know, and we know. Although one is one is the standout. Yeah, yeah Michael, Pittman, Michael Pittman. Uh, but, but let's say, you know, Kamari Lasseter holds his own there. Anthony Richardson, my big crit, you know, criticism of him, you know, as much as I know what he can do, and he's just a physical freak and all that, is he's not real accurate. Like, sometimes he'll throw the ball right to you. Uh, so if you have good coverage on the other side, and good coverage deep, uh, maybe maybe they'll snag one or two, and that'll change the whole game. Uh, some other ones that came in, Texans win because we decided to let Richardson make the plays only he can make. Uh, we should concentrate on forcing him to pass into defensive backs. As you mentioned, Texans lose because Laramie Tunsil gets treated like the Ravens left tackle Ronnie Stanley. That's on the table. That That is a possibility uh, with the that, emphasis that, that they're placing. That kind of got me nervous. That is on the table. On lining up uh, in such a way. Some other things that came in, uh, 936 
Texans lose because they can't stop the run and can't protect CJ. Uh, another one, Texans lose because we can't we underestimate the Colts. Um, 2 one win if they can stop the run and run the ball. Okay, all those coming in. I appreciate you guys getting involved. If they can't, if they can't win because they can't protect CJ, that's yeah. a whole nother problem. It right sure there. is. Yeah. It sure is. Yeah. Um, and Texans win because CJ spreads the ball around to eight or nine different targets. Oh, I like what well, we're doing there. Well, I said five, but I'll take eight right. or nine. All, all <laughs> sorts of people getting active. Look uh, at Sims getting some catches. <laughs> let's spread the ball around ourselves. Wait a minute, is that Juice Scruggs with a catch? <laughs> <laughs> right. That's illegal. That's not allowed. I know that for certain. I don't know a lot. That's not allowed. Uh,